Welcome to our Hard Hat House Tour with KB Home. I'm Tom Tseng, your local friendly realtor in Southern California. Today we're taking you behind the scenes of a brand new home under construction. We'll walk through the site, check out the progress, and give you a sneak peek at what makes these homes so special. All right, come on, I'll give you a ride. Time to switch to my work boots. Now let's take a look at how it appears while it's still under construction. Oh, here we go. You'll see a lot of porter parties. That's a sign of a construction site. Well, to start off, these are tile roofing. They typically last 20 to 25 years, making them a very durable roofing material. Plus, they're easy to replace. You know, parts are readily available if a tile cracks. Here we go. As you can see, it's still under construction with the flooring just recently laid down. Here are the electrical wirings, and it's protected with thick paper along the sides. So island in here. They've pre-made the holes for the electrical wiring, and here you can see a wood panel slab with some metal support, so it can support the rock. Here's where the refrigerator will go, and space for the microwave while ensuring the surfaces are protected. This space is reserved for the range with the gas pipe and electrical outlet ready for installation. And that's where the hood vent will be. Electrical wiring for the lightings. And the recessed lightings you'll see here. And the junction boxes for the centerpiece lights. Homes will be delivered like this, but cleaner, they're going to tidy it up. You're basically going to get a concrete pad like this and you'll have to cover the cost of your own plumbing. Here is the electrical connection for the HVAC unit. And this is where the HVAC unit will be. You can see a little curvature down there. That is for future drainage to go. So when it rains, water won't get into the foundation of the house. It will go just into the gutter and kind of go away. These are all the small details that go into designing a house. And here, of course. And here we have the water and gas. These are vinyl fences, similar to polymer. They're made of a plastic-like material that is built to last about 10 years or so. They won't get termites because they're not made of organic wood, so they'll last a long time. Double panel windows help keep the heat out and block noise. Going upstairs. Notice the material, this one's wood. In the model home, if you saw, some are metal as an upgrade. And painting it black is a nice feature, something I could also have done here. We don't have the lighting installed here yet. So that's where the fan connection is. More lightings. In here we'll be having the sink, vanity and walk-in shower. They'll add a glass here and this is the water valve with the hose connection. Notice all the wedges used to push the flooring together and then they finish it off with the baseboard on top. This is where the closets will be installed. Wiring connection. I don't know which one this leads to. All the recessed lighting have all been plugged in already. These might be holes left for the sprinklers. Going up. The flooring on the staircase hasn't been laid yet. 
That's probably one of the last steps in installing the floor since it's going to get walked on a lot. I like how all the floors have been protected, you know, the attention to detail that they put in. Protecting the surface of everything they built, that is very nice. That's for the vent system, the sprinkler head, and that's a J-Box. I think that's probably to connect the power for a fire alarm. Walk-in closet. In here, we'll be inserting the two rods to hang the clothes. These are nine-foot ceilings with eight-foot doors, so they're really tall. And in here, we have the hole for the venting. Hustling under the sun is really, really hard work. Tough job. So these are the two separate rooms. And here we'll have the dual vanity sink. We'll have a cutout for a sink here and another one here. And then we can close the door so one person can brush their teeth while the other is taking a bath or whatnot. So here's a full bathroom with a shower and tub. We have some extra living areas here on the second floor. Great for TV projectors, media rooms, or a home office. This is the laundry area. It's a good sized laundry room with shelves where you can store detergents and a coat hanging area. Last but definitely not the least is the master bedroom. Here is the HVAC filter to keep all the air clean. That's the inlet by the way. And that is the outlet with the grills. Very bright, well thought out and very safe. And here we have a shower. There's connection and sewer for tub. And here we have shower with a wall all the way to the ceiling. That way when there's moisture, it won't get moldy or dirty up there. And here we have the tub, a connection for hot and cold water, as well as the drainage pipe down to the sewer. Here's a walk-in closet, both left and right sides. Very spacious, almost like half a room. And here is the toilet. Here's the water connection, the water inlet. Here's the electrical connection in case people want to use bidet seats or butt washers. Dual vanity sink. They'll be installing the counter where the wood is right here. So there you go. Here's a single family house walkthrough during its construction. Now we're mostly done in here. This is pretty much 80% done. All we need now are the surface furnishings and to connect all the lighting, recessed lights and power. It's almost ready for sale and we're on track to close this house by November. Give me a call if you're interested. We've got a great deal available right now. This is Realtor Tom Seng with Universal Elite Realty. Until then, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.